Hey everyone, this is Maria Saracen from MariaSaracen.com and I have a fantastic free graphics tool to share with you today. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you will know that I absolutely love Canva. It's such an awesome tool for designing graphics for your website or free giveaways or whatever it is that you need to create. But I recently became aware of another tool that I like to call Canva's slightly nerdy or more intellectual rival, and it is called Vengage. And really what this tool is for is to make fantastic infographics. And of course, there is also a free version of it. So you can definitely pay for the more advanced features and bells and whistles but there is a free version all you have to do is sign up and you will get access to it so let me show you exactly what vengage entails you go into the main dashboard and you click make infographic and it asks you what would you like to create so they have a whole list of different types of infographics they have reports posters promotions and social content that you can create. Now, as you will see right here, we have featured infographics. You can start with a blank canvas if you want to, or they have all of these fantastic pre-made templates that you can click on and just start editing very, very easily. And as you will see here, they will actually tell you whether this particular template is suitable for beginners. This one is intermediate. This one's advanced. So, you know, feel free to use whatever you want to right off the bat, but it will give you an idea of what the expertise is right here. Now, I am going to show you one that I started editing earlier, and it's the Apple Timeline. And the reason I love this one is because, yes, these are great infographic templates, but you can also create really exciting website elements out of these so that you have a little bit of pizzazz on your website. For instance, if you're doing an about page, something that's really cool to use is a timeline for your about page. So let me take you to the Apple Timeline template right here, and I will show you how you can customize it. So it's literally just a click and change type of template. So this is an icon that I could very easily delete. I could also very easily make a different color if I wanted to. And hopefully it's not going to make a liar out of me. There we go. It's a different color. And to the left here, you have all sorts of different types of items that you can add to your document. So for instance, I could add charts if I was doing an infographic. I could, and this is really cool. So for instance, in Canva, you have some of these elements. I'm just going to literally drag and drop this element here and see what happens. Okay, so in Canva, you have these types of elements, but they are what they are. Okay, you, as far as I know, you can't change them. If it says 75%, that's what it's going to be, 75%. But with Vengage, you click on it and you can actually edit everything about it. So let's say I wanted to make it 60%. Okay, right there. Okay, now there should also be a little panel here that helps me change this. Okay, so when I double click, it'll actually give the data. So here we go. Let's try this. Let me make it 60. Okay, now as you can see, this part actually changed so that it's actually 60. Okay, and B is not 25. B would be 40. Okay, so that is actually 60 40. That makes perfect sense right there. So, see how easy that was? I just double clicked on it. It had the data panel right here, and very easily I could change it. Now, let's say I wanted to make this 50%. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight that. That is just text that I'm changing. But then I would double click on this again double click on it and then in this panel for the data I would change it to 50 and 50 okay so there you go so that is something that is really fantastic 
that you can easily edit in Vengage that I haven't seen in other applications like this online. Now, you also have titles where, uh, or settings rather, where you can show a title if you wanted to. You can show a legend. So for instance, when I was um, doing all kinds of chemistry classes and I had to create reports for my chemistry <laughs> tutorials, this would have been an amazing tool to use and it would have made my life a lot easier than some of the other things I was using to create reports that were very scientific and had all kinds of graphs on them and, and different diagrams. And what is so cool about an infographics tool like this, a, a visual editor, is that you can present data in such an understandable way. That is really the beauty of infographics. You can take all kinds of facts and figures and data and it would normally go totally over people's heads if you just gave it to them raw. Now you can make beautiful, beautiful infographics that will help people understand what it is that you're trying to tell them. So I'm going to get away from this charts and I'm going to show you there's also maps. Now you can get a map of the United States and Canada for free, but all of these would be part of the premium paid plan. They also have pictograms, so you can choose all types of different categories for your pictograms. And let me just show you, you have all these little icons that you can use. Um, so let's say I wanted to just put a mitten on my timeline here. <laughs> Okay, I have no idea why I have so many mittens. I'm kind of learning this as I go along. Um, okay, it's on five rows, so that's that would be the reason. So over here, and I, but this is very cool because with pic pictograms, you can say like, how many mittens cold is it, <laughs> for instance, or you know, just just represent data in a kind of fun, easy to digest way and that's entertaining but I only needed one mitten okay so I'm just going to delete this little gift box and I'm going to put my mitten right there and it shows me where the center of the page is okay great and then I'm going to change this I'm going to not call it an apple timeline I'm just going to call it Maria's timeline so let's double click there and I'm going to change it Maria's timeline okay so, and of course I could change the color and all that good stuff. So now I'm going to show you, let me see, we've got the pictogram category, you've got icons. So if you use icons, I presume that it's not going to give me a whole bunch of them. Um, for instance, I use this little icon of a stork because I said I was born, woohoo. <laughs> I changed, I edited the, the template to say I was born. Um, so anyway, you have tons of different icons that you can use. You have text, just very basic text or some more fancy logo type text. You have images that they have here and you can do an image search keyword. Let me say um, pen. Let's see what comes up with pen. Okay, so again, very similar to Canva, they have premium items that come up which would be part of the paid plan and I'm assuming that you could use these if you had upgraded. You might not have to pay for them individually but just be able to use them and then of course there's some free items as well that you can use and unlike um, some things where you might just click on it you actually have to drag and drop to put them in exactly where you want them. You can change the size very easily and you can also obviously adjust whether it's um, you can copy it you can edit it I don't know how exactly I would edit this particular item let's just take a quick look if there is a way no okay this isn't an edible item it's 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 an image so it pretty much does what most images do but you can change the size and I assume that you could bring it forward or back depending on how you lay it out in your document. All right, and then we have, obviously you can upload images or items. You have image frames, and really right now all you have is a circle frame if you're on the free plan, and then you have some of these as well, which are kind of nice. Let's say you wanna put authors in there or bios or whatever the case may be, you, would, you could use one of these 
uh, pre-designed items. But I'm going to delete that for now. And then you have interactive items. So if you use visualize.me, you could put something from there in your document. You can also put a YouTube video in your document or infographic. You can use a poll. So I'm going to just show you how a poll works. Okay, you double click on here and then you can put your option number one. So you could say, I like it. I don't like it, you know, whatever the case may be. And people would, once it's published, people can just click on the radio button that they choose and submit. So that's very cool. You can also have a form field. So let me just delete this or rather a field form. Okay. And so you could use this for a an opt-in on your infographic, which is really fantastic. I mean, let's say somebody loves your infographic, they're interested in what information you present, you can have a form field, a field form, sorry, right there on your infographic, which makes it really easy for people to opt in right there and then on your infographic. And of course, you can always change the background color, the canvas color very easily right here. Okay, so I'm going to just go back to white. Once you have created your template or your infographic, I'm sorry, I keep calling it a template, but your infographic, you have very various options on what to do with it. So the first thing you probably want to do is publish it, which I've already done on this particular one. And then you can preview it just to make sure that you like what you see. Okay, so here is our preview of Maria's timeline. Okay. Now you can just grab this URL if you want to say you want to email it to someone or embed it somewhere, but you can also get embed code with border or no border. So this is set to no border and you can also do it fixed or responsive. So in this particular document under the settings, you can choose the size that it is. So it can be a custom size or you can go legal uh, letter, legal tabloid, any of these or custom. And then you can choose your width and height if you're if you're doing custom. You can also choose whether it's horizontal or vertical the page. So, and you can also make a copy if you want to create one and then create a slightly different version. Now, in your publish settings, you can make it fixed. So it would be the exact size that you created in your settings, or you can make it responsive so that when you use this code, this responsive code on your website, such as here, I just embedded it on my website and I'm just going to quickly update it when you use it here, it will be responsive if that's what the, the code that you pasted. So somebody looking at it on a computer would see this and somebody looking at it on a phone would see it much smaller and responsive, which I think is really fantastic. And again, this particular timeline template would be awesome for an about page, in my opinion. And you can say, you know, the year 2006, I was born, which is absolutely not true because I'd only be 10 <laughs> if it was true. But basically, you can go down and chronicle the evolution of yourself or your business or whatever it is that you want to do a timeline about. So I really, really love that. And before Vengage, I actually don't know how I would have made such a nice responsive timeline. So this is really, uh, in my opinion, a fantastic tool. So let me go back to the editor and just show you a couple more things. You can also share your infographics. So you can share it publicly through any of these means or privately. And then the download feature is not available unless you are set to upgrade to premium. So that is the only little bummer is that you cannot actually export this unless you are paying for one of their plans. But there's so much you can do anyway for the free account. So to me, that's not exactly a deal breaker or preventing me from doing anything that I wanted to do anyway. And that really is the, the tour of Vengage. There is just so much that you can do with it. There are tons of templates 
And as you scroll down here, you will see these other categories too. But these are all really fantastic infographics. You have a lot of statistical stuff. And, and these are temp. Okay, some of these are premium. So you will see that to use certain templates, you're going to have to upgrade. But there are a lot of templates that are part of the free program. And that is really great for anyone starting out who's kind of trying to bootstrap their business and doesn't want to spend a ton of money on all kinds of different services and products, you will definitely find something here that you can use for free. And they have a ton of different timelines. So have fun with it. I hope this resource has kind of gotten your creative juices flowing. This is fantastic, not only f if you're creating websites, but obviously it's really well designed for people who are in scientific fields or students who need to create awesome looking charts and reports and all that good stuff. So I'd highly recommend it for those people, but also for anyone who's doing an online business or any type of business where you need to show data in a very creative, appealing way that's easy to understand. Okay, so again, where you would go is vengage.com. Sign up for a free account and start creating some really fun graphics. And until next time, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again really soon. And if you want to sign up for more videos and tips, please visit me at mariasaracen.com and uh, get on my email list and I will be in touch very soon. Happy creating. Bye-bye.